that a man lay down his life for his friends. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cadet Jamie DeWitt, and on behalf of the principal of Haggerty High School, Mr. Sam Mamory, and the JROTC Battalion Commander, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Malmstrom, I welcome you to today's plaque dedication ceremony honoring a 2010 Haggerty High School graduate, United States Army Specialist Brendan Neal Salazar Nelson, who died in service to his country on July 22, 2012, in the Puli Alam district of Afghanistan when his unit was attacked by an improvised explosive device. He was 20 years old when he was killed in action. Although we are saddened to have to memorialize Specialist Salazar, let this ceremony and the plaque be a reminder to the students, parents, and citizens that his sacrifice was made for the freedoms we enjoy today. Specialist Brennan Salazar was born on March 24th, 1992 at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Brendan enjoyed building computers, cooking, and playing guitar. He also loved playing sports, especially football and soccer. Brendan grew up in Chileota, Florida as a proud military brat. Brendan formed a strong bond with his little sister Hannah, who he spent many hours taking care of. Brendan was a loyal friend who had an innate ability to calm and ease any situation. When Brendan decided to join the Army, he originally enlisted as an unmanned aerial vehicle pilot. But after consideration, Brendan decided with conviction that he wanted to be an infantryman. Brendan's honor for his country and love for freedom drove his decisions in life. This is why he joined the Army. Specialist Salazar graduated from Haggerty High School in May of 2010 and enlisted in the Army in November of 2010. Specialist Salazar attended infantry basic <coughs> training, advanced individual training, airborne school and ranger assessment and selection program before his assignment to a attack company, 1st Battalion, 503rd Infantry Airborne, 173rd Brigade Combat Team in Vincenza, Italy. From June 2011 to May 2012, Specialist Salazar participated in multiple training exercises and airborne operations throughout Europe. Specialist Salazar deployed to Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom, where he conducted multiple operations as a grenadier. Specialist Salazar's military awards and decorations include the Bronze Star Medal, the Purple Heart Medal, the Army Commendation Medal, the National Defense Service Medal, the Afghanistan Campaign Medal, the Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, the Army Service Ribbon, the Overseas Service Ribbon, and the NATO Medal. Specialist Salazar also received the Combat Infantryman's Badge, the United States Parachutist Badge, the Canadian Parachutist Badge, and the Italian Parachutist Badge. Good afternoon and welcome everyone. My name is Jim. This is Jemana. We're Brendan's parents. On behalf of my wife and I, my daughter Hannah, Grandma Joanne, Uncle Tad, Grandma Annie, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to be here with us to, uh, on this special day to honor our hero, Brendan. We would like to thank Principal Mamory and his staff for making this uh, memorial dedication possible today. We'd like to especially thank Lieutenant Colonel Dale Johnson. I believe he's over here on the left. Thank you, sir. We know this is a lot of work to put together, so we'd like to thank you and your cadets for doing that. We'd also like to thank all of our family and friends in attendance as well for spending this special day with us. I promise to keep this short, but I wanted all to know a little bit about Brendan. For those of you that knew Brendan, he was a quiet, but confident, but quick-witted young man who cared very much for his family and friends. Brendan was not real active in any extracurricular sports or activities here at Haggerty, but he did have a lot of hobbies that he, that he did at home. Like I already mentioned, he enjoyed playing the guitar, building gaming computers, cooking, working out, but his ultimate favorite was gaming. In fact, he taught his little sister Hannah here how to be a pretty good gamer. She beats me every night when we play. So, yeah, first person shooter game is that. 
So his legacy is <coughs> out of here. Uh, Brendan had many strengths, but his greatest strength was his loyalty to his friends and family. Brendan had friends growing up that had social challenges that most kids growing up around would not have wanted to be part of. Brendan stood by their side through thick and thin and remained good friends until his passing. Brendan spent much time at home with Javana, Hannah, and I just hanging out. He was very content with just hanging out and being with family. Brendan and his sister have always had a special bond ever since she was born. For those, did not, for those that do not know, our daughter Hannah has cystic fibrosis and requires very strict regimen of medications and hospitalizations. Brendan was always supportive of Hannah in those circumstances and always be there to help us take care of her. Brendan would spend much time with Hannah in the hospitals and at home just watching TV or playing games to help with their healing. He even came home on leave one time from the military to be with her. This was yet another sign of Brendan's loyalty to his family. Like they already mentioned, Brendan was in the second graduating class here at Haggerty. And boy, was it a fun ride. For those out there that have raised teenage boys know what I'm talking about. The first couple years was a challenge, but we pulled through and he did just fine. There is one fond memory I have of Brendan and Haggerty. Brendan turned 16, he and I rebuilt a 1995 Nissan 240SX, which he received from his grandmother. I know it's hard to believe that his grandmother had a sports car like that, but she did. She upgraded to an SUV and passed it down to Brendan. For those young guys in the crowd know that that's a tuner car and that's pretty cool. He and I had it painted, picked out nice tires and wheels, put stereos in it, tinted the windows, it was a nice ride. It was a five-speed, so he and I had some good bonding time for a few days teaching him how to drive a stick. A half a clutch later, he finally learned how to drive it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He actually caught on really quick. Brennan was all set and ready to drive himself to school because that was the most important thing, not ride the bus, right? we all been there. There was only one problem. Those that live in Oviedo know that 419 and Lockwood, where they intersect there, at the Walgreens, there's a slight incline. For those of us that are seasoned drivers, you know, that's not a big problem. If you're new to driving a stick, that's like Mount Everest to a kid. <laughs> Brendan was terrified that on his first few days of school driving, that he'd be stopped at that light, and that he would roll back into somebody. He was terrified of that. So he asked me, and the good father that I am, I said, sure, son, I'll follow you to school. His thought was, Dad, if you're right behind me and I roll back, I'll hit you instead of someone else. At least I'll know you. So, what a deal, right? Needless to say, we did it. And after that, you know, we did it three or four days, and he did just fine, just like I knew he would. But I wanted to be there as that blanket to help him build his confidence. Yeah. On the last day, as we approached Haggerty, he was turning left here in the student parking lot, and I was going straight on my way to work. You know, I looked at him, he looked at me. And he waved. <laughs> and he smiled. I saw his mouth move, but even though I couldn't hear it, I knew what he was saying. He was thinking. He was thinking, thanks, Dad, for having my back. So every day when I pass Haggerty on my way to work, I think of that special bonding moment, and I realize how short life is and it helps me put things into perspective and understand the priorities in life. The things I used to think of that were a big deal 
aren't such a big deal anymore. Shortly after Brendan's death, his Aunt Agnes, a.k.a. T.T. Annoying, he used to call her, set up a memorial page on Facebook for all his friends and fellow soldiers to post comments, photos, or just thoughts. During our grieving, it was so refreshing for my wife and I to read many of the posts. It was so nice to see how many people he had touched in such a short period of time. Many of the comments that were posted described a young man that actually did listen to what my wife and I taught him growing up. We are so proud of that. So those parents out there that are wondering if the, uh, the guidance and advice that you're giving your kids is working, it is. It just takes time and it'll come out. Just like it did, Brendan, for us. Thank you to all the Brendan's friends out there that posted so many good stories and photo experiences and shared them with us. Thank all of you that took time out to conduct events in honor of Brendan on behalf of his sister, Hannah. In closing, there are two words that I'd like to leave with you today. Never forget. Not just for Brendan, but all those young men and women that have made the final sacrifice that we can enjoy our freedoms that we do today. Thank you once again for your attendance and patriotism today. It means a lot to my family and I. Take care and Godspeed. A level of courage that would have an individual lay down his life in defense of their country. We dedicate this plaque to the memory of Brendan Neal Salazar Nelson, and that it may serve as a perpetual reminder to all, especially the students that have this privilege to study at this school, that Specialist Salazar, a graduate of Haggerty High School, in patriotic duty, sacrificed his life as a United States Army soldier so we can enjoy our everyday freedoms. Would you please now unveil the plaque? Salazar. Specialist Brendan Salazar. Specialist Brendan Neil Salazar. Order.